How are you? Welcome to the Freaking Rican restaurant channel. Today we'll be making albondigas, in English known as meatballs. How are you guys and welcome. Today we're going to be making uh, a meatball stew. So we're going to add some carrots and uh, potatoes. So um, here I have a pound and a quarter of ground beef, uh, which you can get at your local market. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to start with the seasoning to season the ground meat. And um, I have my chopper here. So um, I have the freaking Rican sofrito, which we'll be using along with um, the adobo. So we're gonna be using these two. Uh, this will give the meatballs an amazing taste. So we are gonna work with that in just a bit. Um, I've missed you guys. We've been so busy with the restaurant that we really haven't been able to make, uh, to make many videos. So uh, it's Sunday and we're actually relaxing today and so we said you know what let's let's give them a video to keep them happy okay so here we have um our chopper right <clears throat> so in our chopper what we're gonna do is we're gonna put five cloves of garlic i love garlic i'm not sure about you but if you don't want so much garlic you could perhaps take one or two out but um, we're using five garlic cloves. Okay, and we're gonna put that into the chopper. We have here uh, a teaspoon of oregano. We're gonna put that into the chopper. Here we have half of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper, okay? So there we go. And now what we're gonna do is, um, to make this really easy, I'm just gonna push this to the side, get uh, my little cutting board here, and we're also gonna add um, half of an onion, okay? So we're just gonna take the onion and just cut this in half. Um, cut off both ends, just like that. You wanna take the little first peel off, Perfect, really quick and easy. We'll discard this. And um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's almost springtime, so you know that is uh, our time for, um, for our festivals. So our festivals begin in April. And um, I think we'll be opening the restaurant in April as well. Um, maybe late uh, March to April. So we're just going to take the onion and um, we're just going to dice it a bit. You don't really have to do it like a pro because we're going to put it in the chopper anyway. So um, now we're going to put that into the chopper just like that. And then what we're going to do with this once it's all... Um, mixed up and chopped up, we're gonna add that to the ground beef, okay? So I'm just gonna move this to the side. Oof, the onions are are getting to me. I'm gonna try not to cry here. Okay, so we have that and now, oh, we got a little left here of salt and pepper. There we go. Oof, onion is strong. And now we're just gonna give this a quick pulse. Just so everything is really nicely mixed up and the onion is really strong. There you go. So that's good. Okay, so we're going to keep that like that. Um, let's take a fork. And we just want to push everything down again so we could uh, chop it up a little bit more because I don't want, I don't want it to be, um, I want it to be finely chopped. Ooh. Onion is uh, quite strong. Okay, so here we go. We got all of that. And now, uh, someone's trying to run away here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our bowl. Very, very easy. Here I have uh, a tablespoon of butter. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. 
And now what I'm gonna do is take the ground beef, just like this. We're gonna put that in the bowl, just like that. If you can take a look at that, and um, we're gonna wait for our butter which should be coming out right about now. So we're gonna take our tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna put that in there. And with your finger, you wanna kinda scrape off all of that goodness. There we go. So now that we added the butter to the ground beef, we're gonna take uh, what's in the chopper. I have a, a little spatula here to help me out. So now we're just gonna take all of this and uh, we are going to mix that into the ground beef. So this recipe is really, really simple. Shouldn't take you a long time. Um, you'll love it, your kids will love it. If you, if you like a stew, so I love stews. Um, and it's gonna taste amazing. Okay, so we're gonna set this to the side and now what actually I'm sorry We're not gonna set that to the side. We're gonna put that back here because Now we're gonna take I know if you're Puerto Rican. I know growing up you had Ritz crackers, right? So we're gonna add I love Ritz crackers um, So we're gonna add about 12. Okay, so we're gonna add about 12 crackers. So I'm gonna put my blade back in so two four six eight 10 perfect 12. So we're gonna put that in the chopper, just like that. Okay, then you can put the rest away. We are going to grab uh, right here. There we go. And we're gonna chop this up as well. This is going to be delicious. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add this as well to, um, to the ground beef. Okay. So you could take a look at that and see, and see how it looks. Um, now we are also going to add our freaking Rican sofrito. So what's amazing about this sofrito is that it is all natural. It doesn't contain salt. Um, so this is just peppers, culantro, cilantro, ajicitos. Um, this is the real Puerto Rican sofrito. So we're going to take... Uh, it smells like heaven when you open it. It really, really does. You smell like the garlic. Okay, so we're going to add a, a tablespoon, okay? So we want to add a good heaping tablespoon, just like that. Uh, you know what? Let's do a tablespoon and a half because that is going to give it such a great taste. So we're going to put that to the side and now we are going to add some freaking Rican adobo. What makes this adobo so special is that it's made with pink Himalayan salt. Um, like I've explained to you before, it helps regulate your blood, uh, your blood pressure and it's very good for you. It's gluten free. MSG, no MSG, um, and it's just healthier and low sodium. So for those of you that suffer from high blood pressure, it's low sodium, okay? And it's, once again, completely all natural, okay? So you can find our products on, um, on the freaking Rican restaurant.com. Um, and now what we're gonna do with this is, I'm actually gonna open up the cap because I, uh, I want enough. So I'm gonna use a half of a teaspoon of the oh, smells so good our products i swear to you they they just smell so good and if you purchase them you know that i'm i'm saying the truth but okay so now what we're gonna do is right here add about half of a teaspoon okay that's a little too much perfect half a teaspoon and and now lastly we're gonna add one egg Okay, so we're going to crack the egg just like that. Perfect. Give that egg a little spin. Boom, boom, boom. 
Así mismo. So how have you guys been? I know you've been commenting on the Facebook and Instagram. What happened to the videos? Please don't stop. So here you go. I'm making you happy. Okay, so we're going to add the egg. Just like that. And now we're going to get down and dirty. Okay. So we're going to get down and dirty. Let's get this out of the way. And so now it's time to mix up all the ingredients into the ground beef, okay? So we're going to get down and dirty, all right? So here goes. We're going to put the tablespoon on the plate. So as you can see, I grabbed the plate because we're going to start to um, form the balls. But first, we need to mix up all this goodness, okay? So all you want to do is just mix up everything as good as possible with not making such a mess okay so if you see what I'm doing I'm pulling from out in and you just keep on doing that and mix and mix and mix this is pretty easy and all of these ingredients are gonna give the meat such a delicious taste the egg is gonna help bind it so I see me more so imagine that today Sunday and we had to do some cleaning in the house because since we've been at the restaurant almost every day, you know, the house, I mean, you know, you're, you're, so, you're so busy and then you look at your house and it's a mess. So I went to the, a la bodega, compré, compré quimpain, me puse ahí a, a mapear. How many of you use quimpain? I haven't used this since I was a kid, actually. Um, but I was like, you know what, I saw it. And I was like, I, I wanted to smell it because I remember my mom on uh, weekends always cleaning with uh, wicking pine. So, so yeah, we, we did uh, a good uh, cleaning. The restaurant is coming along really, really good. So, yeah, you just want to keep on mixing and mixing. You want to make sure um, it smells so good. I wish you were here because it really does smell amazing. And the Ritz crackers are going to give it um, such a, a good uh, added taste to it. So I see me sigue mixing. And if you don't have sofrito, obviously you know that you could order it from us. Um, and if you're not able to order it from us, you could always put in some, um, some red, green peppers. Um, maybe about a quarter pepper. Um, red and green and the onion you know and just um, incorporate that if you don't have the sofrito but um, if you order from us usually it takes like one or two days to get and um, our sofrito really is is the bomb okay so you see now nah, there you go nice oh my god it smells so good <laughs> raw and it smells amazing okay so there we go okay that would be one huge meatball but no we're not doing that today okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the the tablespoon right we're gonna get a grab a, a, a big spoon just like that okay you're gonna put it in your hand and then all you're gonna do is roll you see so roll it and form it I'll see me more you see I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect but obviously I think you know we eat with our eyes um, and so you want it to look well proportioned and then we'll put it down on the plate I'm gonna get uh, try to make them kind of uh, consistent so there you go these are pretty uh, these are pretty large you see so basically what you want to do is put it in the palm of your hand and then just rotate it back and forth you know and form it by patting it you know really quick and easy and you're gonna remember me because this is gonna be a hit okay and so I'm gonna keep on um, shaping up these uh, these balls um, and um, and we'll be back 
So now that we have finished shaping up all the balls, um, I have here about 4, 8, 12, 16, oops, about 18 um, balls, okay? They smell and look delicious. Now we're going to turn our pan on. Uh, not the pan, but the stove. Uh, so there we go. We want to put it on a medium flame, okay, because now it's time to brown up these bad boys. Okay, we have about two tablespoons of olive oil. There you go. Just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the olive oil heat up a bit. So that's probably going to take about a good minute, you know. Let that heat up a bit. Um, and in the meantime, um, I hope you guys saw uh, the work that we did in Puerto Rico. Um, because I don't think we've seen you since um, since I came back from Puerto Rico. But originally, we set up a GoFundMe page um, after Hurricane Maria. And so I went to Puerto Rico to my hometown, Mayagüez. And um, I spent one day cooking in a town called Añasco. So uh, a, a lovely business owner allowed me to use their kitchen. And I was able to cook up um, meals. Um, and fed maybe about 70, 75 people in, um, in Añasco because at that time they still had um, no light. Um, it was like a hundred, I, I forgot how many mums. Without light, I'm not even sure if they, they have light now, but we did that um, and then we uh, went to um, Home Depot and Sam's and made about all together possibly about, uh, maybe about a hundred bags filled with um, non-perishable food and um, flashlights with batteries so um, so we did the work that uh, that we promised that we would do um, so if you haven't checked it out look at our social media and um, so you could see uh, the great work that we did so now this is hot enough so we're going to add um, we are going to add the, um, the meatballs Okay, just like that. We want to brown them up. And so that's it. And basically, we're going to put them all inside. And you don't want them to get too, you don't want them to get like crunchy. You just want to brown them up. So we're going to flip them. We're probably going to cook them up here for a good maybe uh, 10 minutes so five minutes um, if anything on one side and an additional five on the other okay so you hear this sizzling up as it should and look it fit perfectly beautiful so there you go okay you want to just leave them there and um, what we're going to do is I'm going to low down the flame because um, it was at a medium so I'm going to lower it down just a, a bit more and we're going to leave them uncovered okay we're not going to cover them we're going to leave them uncovered and we're going to leave it uh, for five minutes and we'll be back so our timer for five minutes has just beeped and now it's time to um, to flip them and might I tell you the smell the aroma is simply delicious but um, come closer and you could just see so what we're gonna do is just flip them over try to be gentle with them okay you don't want them to uh, to break and just once again make sure um, that uh, that the flame is not uh, too high, okay? So there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the flame even lower um, and let them cook up now on this side for another five minutes. So there you go, they're all flipped. You wanna make sure enough of them are at the center. Oh, no, missed these two. So this one was flipped already. So yeah, so now they're all flipped. So we're gonna leave that there for another five minutes. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we grabbed two carrots 
and three potatoes. So what I'm gonna do now is clean the potatoes, peel them, and the same with the carrots, okay? So we're uh, here actually cutting up the potatoes um, for uh, the stew. So like I said, we, we have here three potatoes. Um, you could cut them as big, as small as you like. That's really your preference. And I'm putting extra potatoes because Victor here wants a lot of potatoes. He loves uh, the potatoes. So here, it's been already um, 10 minutes in, in total. And the flame is very low. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add the potatoes and carrots. So in the same saucepan, which is perfect because you don't have to dirty more dishes. So we're going to put that in there, just like that, nice and colorful. And now we're going to add four tablespoons of tomato sauce, which whichever is, is your preference, whatever brand you like so there we go we have four tablespoons of um, tomato sauce here we have a uh, half of a teaspoon of cumin which is comino so there we go get all that uh, comino out and then here we have a, a teaspoon of oregano so you want to sprinkle that up just like that. I'm going to take a uh, wash off uh, my spoon. We're going to add some more freaking Rican sofrito. So we're going to add a nice big tablespoon, okay? Don't be afraid of the sofrito because it has no salt. So it's just going to make your food taste, you know, taste amazing. So um, let's again put. Uh, a half, so one and a half tablespoon of the freaking Rican sofrito. Okay, just like that. And um, we are going to use a little bit of um, the freaking Rican adobo as well. So do a couple shakes. So this would be about a half of a teaspoon as well. Okay, and you hear that sizzling up. And now we're gonna add um, some olives. So we have here about nine olives. So you could just cut them in half, you know, in four, however you like, you know. So uh, this is gonna give some more flavor. And in Puerto Rican cooking, we use olives a lot. So there you go. We have that and we're gonna add a cup and a half of water. So there we go. And obviously, uh, yes, we're using the freaking Rican mug. Um, it's so nice, right? It's so beautiful with our website. Uh, so yes, yeah, so here we have a cup and a half of, um, of water. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give everything a nice little stir. Okay, and the mugs you could also find online. Uh, we have mugs, we have aprons, I mean, you name it, we have it. And um, when we open up the restaurant, we'll have all of our um, all of our products and um, fan favorites like the, like the aprons, the hats. I mean, oh my God, I'm just promoting the brand too much today, right? But look at the hat. I wear this hat every single day and I'm so proud of it because I am a freaking Rican. And I'm sure you are too. That's why you love the channel. Okay, so once again, I'm giving this a quick, uh, quick stir. So there we go. Um, my cameraman is telling me to to go down. <laughs> what do you see? Uh, oh, my posture, my posture. He always gets at me with my posture because I'm like this. So I gotta stand like this. Okay, all right. So um, all right. So yeah. So I'm giving it a nice, um, a nice mix. There you go. And what we're going to do is, um, right now I don't want to add salt. I'm going to taste the salt in a couple minutes and see if it needs. Because um, I don't want, uh, 
you know, I don't want it to be uh, salty. So I'm gonna let this cook up for a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close it um, for a good uh, 15 minutes. And um, uh, 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 we wanna leave it with a little vent. Okay, so you don't wanna close it all the way. Uh, so we're gonna leave a little vent just like that. And um, I gotta, I'm like, uh, I'm like OCD. I see a drop on the stove and it's like, I, I gotta clean it. Uh, okay, so there we go. And so I'm just gonna take this mess out of here and um, we'll see you in about 15 minutes, okay? Give me a chance to uh, wash these dishes. So before I start the dishes, I forgot to tell you to put it on now on a little less than medium flame, okay? So not low, not medium, in between, okay? And give it a, a nice uh, room to, uh, to vent. So 15 minutes has passed already, um, and um, I tasted it, so it does need some more sofrito and some salt. So here we have one more heaping tablespoon of sofrito. Like I said before, I mean, you could keep on adding to any of your food. You could keep on adding the sofrito till it tastes like, mmm, that's like really good. You know, because that's what I always do. Like sometimes I'll just add one more tablespoon or one more teaspoon. And finally, when it tastes delicious, is that is enough sofrito. Because like I said, the sofrito really does give it an amazing taste. Um, this is half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. And we have about two, three pinches of bihol. Bihol, it just adds a little more color to the food. So um, it looks like that. It's uh, it basically is como achote, um, blend it up, okay? So uh, the pink Himalayan salt and uh, the bihol. So there you go. And that should do it. I'm gonna give everything a nice stir, but um, feel free to come closer so you can actually see how um, how delicious um, it looks. And so it's only been 15 minutes that is cooking, so we're gonna leave it for another uh, 15, 20 minutes, and um, and it'll be uh, it'll be ready. But it uh, looks really, really good. And once again, we're gonna cover it. <clears throat> and I am gonna get a couple more olives just because uh, I, I like a couple more olives. So I'm gonna throw in a couple more olives there and now I'm gonna give it a quick taste and, um, and see how it tastes. But once again, I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna close it up this time and put it on a low flame. I just want to taste it. Yep, that's good. All right, so um, so I'm gonna keep it at a low flame, very low, and um, once again, yeah, I'm gonna let it breathe just a tiny bit. Okay, and we'll see you back in about 20. And so we're back. Um, I'm cooking up some sorujos there because we're gonna go visit a friend of ours that um, is homesick for about a couple of weeks. So we're gonna go and take her some meatballs and some sorujos, which are her favorite. Um, so I wanna show you, um, we have finished. I added seven more olives. I sliced them in half. And here I also added roasted peppers, so you could find those in um, in a can, um, fire roasted peppers. And I just took um, a small amount, maybe about uh, even less than a quarter of, of the pepper, and just sliced it. Um, and I must have sliced it into about maybe 12, 16 pieces. Um, but now it's time to plate and then it'll be the best time of all, the time to taste. And so, here we have, I have plated this beautiful plate and it looks, I mean, beyond delicious. So as I told you, I added some roasted, um, uh, fire roasted peppers that you could find in, in a can. I added some more olives and I just wanted to give it a little bit more color. Here we have some avocado slices, a little salad, and um, I can't wait 
to dig into this so of course it is the best time of all the time to taste I'm excited okay here goes I'm not going to uh, talk I'm gonna eat now right so I'm gonna get a nice uh, nice amount of sauce here a little rice I want a little I want a little of everything so Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay, so here goes. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes so good, the meatball is nice and tender, and it has just uh, the right amount of flavor. Um, I honestly would love a little hot sauce with this, mm. but it's perfect. Wow, that's good. Um, so, I just, I can't wait to finish the video to get some, some heavy hot sauce and um and eat the rest of that but um like i said before if you know if you feel you need a little more sofrito a little more adobo remember our adobo is low sodium or even if you need a little more salt you know uh season it to your liking because you know i may not like that much salt you may like a little bit more um so once again i just want to remind you that we sell all of our products on uh, www.thefreakinreakinrestaurant.com we have these beautiful aprons um, that will look good on men, women uh, we have the freaking Rican hats, the adobo, the sofrito we also ship pasteles nationwide so you can check that out um, all of that is on our website um, make sure to follow us uh, on, on Facebook which is the freaking Rican restaurant and um, of course, subscribe to this channel, okay? And on the side, um, there's gonna be a little bell. Just click on that bell so you get notifi notifications of our uh, new videos, okay? And um, last but not least, remember we're opening a restaurant in Astoria, Queens, scheduled to open um, beginning of April 2018. So that's around the corner, just a month away. So we can't wait to see you guys. Um, what else? Am I missing anything else? Am I missing anything else, camera? Uh, no, no. So um, um, he's doing sign language, but I can't understand him. So anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for following us, for watching the videos. Um, and remember, la vida es mejor with what? Con un buen sabor. I love you guys.